Hi, this is The Advisor with Stacey Chalemi, founder of The Complete Herbal Guide. And today I'm very excited because we have a very special guest with us. It's Debbie Peterson. And Debbie is the founder of the Wellness Gala events. And she also does a TV show, um, Balance Your Life. And she has an amazing story to tell. She's going to talk about how she got motivated to do all these wonderful things in holistic health. And the uh, story is just truly amazing. So Debbie, why don't you introduce yourself and tell everyone a little about yourself. Okay. Thanks, Stacey, for having me on. I'm excited to be here. I'm Debbie Peterson. I'm the founder of the Wellness Gala, like Stacey mentioned. And um, I basically, my story is I was in corporate America many years ago, and um, my son got diagnosed with severe Tourette's syndrome. And I went the medical route, did everything traditional, medicines, therapies, everything you could think of. And I was quite desperate to help him and nothing was really working. So I was led by a friend to an energy healer who was also a chiropractor. And very long story short, he worked with my family and he cured my son completely. He was totally healed and uh, the medical community was pretty dumbfounded by that. <laughs> and um, I still um, used, you know, I still went to the neurologist. I still, you know, kept up with the regular doctors, but then they slowly started saying, well, actually it wasn't that slow. It actually happened within about six months. Um, the neurologist started weaning him off the medicine, all the therapies stopped. Everybody said he didn't need it. And it was truly a miracle. That is truly a miracle. Yeah. And it's, you know, I'm so blessed and obviously my whole family is for that. And so I left my job <laughs> and I went to work for, it's Dr. Robert Kandarjian is the man who helped us. And I just grassroots, you know, started saying people need to know about these holistic modalities. This is about 17 years ago. So right. um, now people know a lot more about holistic things and, you know, integrative medicine. But really, um, not people looked at me like I had three heads back then. <laughs> when I said what I did. So um, that evolved a few years later into me starting the Wellness Gala, where um, I brought together many different types of practitioners that, again, holistic medicine, integrative medicine, health, beauty, wellness products, ideas. <laughs> whatever I could bring together to showcase, to let people know that this stuff is out there and it really worked. Let them know really that there was a lot of options. Yeah. Cause you know, you know a lot of times the medical, um, industry, you know, they, a lot, a lot of people don't like holisticness because, you know, they say it's not enough of scientific evidence back, but mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're one example to show that uh, holisticness does work, you know, of course. And I never say that it's to take the place of traditional medical treatments, but right. there are options. And I do really strongly believe when you put them together, you know, amazing healing can take place. Oh, as yeah. you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, kind of a parallel, you know, thing going on. Well, yeah, with me, with my epilepsy, it was a combination of medications mm -hmm. and holistic living that actually right. helped stop my seizures. Now, for people who don't know a lot about uh, Tourette's syndrome, can you try to explain, you know, a little about it? Some people might not know a lot about it. Well, it's, um, yeah, it's a lot of tics, uh, verbal and, um, sorry, I'm, I'm trying to think, I'm, uh, mo motor and verbal. Yeah. It's, you know, unfortunately in the media or on, you know, you might see it in shows where it's the people that yell out and swear. Yeah. which is actually only like 5% of people that right. really have it, but that's how it's portrayed, you know? Exactly. So, you know, and it makes it difficult to do a lot of things. Oh yeah, definitely. And, and it's very hard. I think also for the caregiver, for the person who's taking care of the person who has, you know, a disorder like Tourette's syndrome, yeah. you know, it's, it's, it's very stressful because you're seeing somebody suffering from something that you're powerless and you don't, you know, yeah. you can't, you know, put a magic wand over that person and say, okay, <laughs> all these symptoms go away, you know, and you're looking for the answer. Now you had mentioned to me about sound therapy, like sound therapy had a big impact on. Um, yeah. Well, I believe all those things do yeah that's some of the practitioners that I work with um sound therapy helps a lot of people um the thing that really helped though was the energy work the energy like the reiki yeah. it's not reiki it was actually his own brand it's called intuitive energy healing okay similar to reiki but I would say like mm, kind of like a little bit higher level 
Right, right. So, yeah. So that's, yeah, that was really it. Yeah, Reiki is, is a very powerful, holistic alternative and people don't Absolutely. realize it. You know, you know, most of the universe is, is run from energy, you know, yeah. and everything, everything is, is everything, everything is energy. energy. Yeah. We're yeah. So energy. Yeah. we're all energy. So people don't realize the impact right. when you do, you know, Reiki, how much, you know, how bringing different sources of energy onto another human being, how you could actually change the function and change the, the clarity and, and even how the person thinks and right. feels through Absolutely. energy healing. And and it also, um, you know, just to add to that, it, it really can unblock where you're blocked. So yeah. the energy throw, it, it's basically energy healing is acupuncture without the needles. Right. Working with the meridians of energy running through your body and really kind of smoothing them out where they could be blocked. It's like kind of the simplest way to explain it. Now, tell me a little about your events that you hold. Now, you were saying that you have all these different people that come on that yeah. you know, that participate in the events and stuff like that. Yes. And you have you were saying you have something like speaking events and you do all these different types of things. We do. I mean, mainly be obviously before COVID, we did, um, you know, events with several hundreds of people. Again, a lot of practitioners. Yes, speakers, keynote speakers. Um, you know, it's a whole thing, food and live music and really a whole day, you know, fun event. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we used to do that as well as um, a lot of smaller events with whatever, a lot of grand openings and, and things like with wellness centers and chiropractic center and all that. And um, actually went all over the country. So, and then of course COVID hit. So right. um, I had to cancel every event Yeah. and that was a little tough, but we just kind of pivoted and I started a free series. Honestly, it was on Facebook Live um, with all different practitioners, just doing everything from fitness classes to beauty things to energy, you know, to yeah. whatever, whoever um, wanted to do it. And I got on News 12, like, you know, local every Saturday for like 30 seconds where I would tell everybody what we had coming up the next week. And right. it sort of caught on. Yeah. Because we, we had something for everyone, you know. So, um, Basically, um, then it turned into a TV show, Balance Your Life. So that's what we're working on now. As you know, we're in season four. Yeah. It just came out last weekend. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really, I'm doing the same exact thing as the events. It's just a different platform. Right. So right. We're still bringing people all these different options and showcasing them. Right. I think that's great because you're able to show people all the different types of alternative me medicine out there right. and all the different benefits, you know, because a, a lot of people, you know, they hear about it, but they don't really understand it in detail and exactly. they a lot about it. And you're giving right. them an opportunity to actually go a little bit deeper into the, into the crust and, and really yeah. learn what it's really all about exactly know? that's the point i do believe that um it's best for people to like experience things or see these things like in demos so that it helps i don't know i feel like it helps explain it so we do talk about it but we also like to show it if, if at all possible um again both at the events and on the show right because, and, and at the events people can experience the things which is you know really a great thing for them because if they have no idea they can look at it and say oh this looks interesting let me try this and they can Great. sample a little session you know and, yeah. and some of the, even the the greatest speakers um you know worldwide like tony robbins you know he had the same impact he had torn um his certain parts of his muscles and tendons and mm -hmm. you know he he did things you know holistically and he got i don't know if it was prp or stem cell shots but he got mm -hmm. different types of therapies and he was able to heal himself naturally. And then he said, I think he started interviewing people just like mm -hmm. you. And that's how his book Life Force came out, you know. Because oh, okay. I didn't know are, that. Yeah. People are starting to really understand that there's more than just taking a pill, you know. And oh, absolutely. And I think people are looking for those options. And, you know, maybe they don't know where to turn. So hopefully we can help them a little bit. Exactly. And, you know, it's really about creating awareness. And I, honestly, it's it's because of my own story that I had no idea this stuff existed back then. Right. right. And I was like, wait a minute, do how do people know about this stuff? Yeah. You sort of weren't in the, I hate to say it, woo woo, you know, yeah. area. Then you didn't really know. 
So I am glad that it's progressed, you know, over these years that it is somewhat mainstream, I believe. <laughs> and that yeah. These people know what it means when you say holistic now, or you say integrative medicine. People are catching on now, you know, yeah, yeah. this stuff has been, you know, for hundreds of thousands of years, they've been using these techniques and they've been using, doing these things, but, yeah. you know, it's just, it, it wasn't out there, you know, and then, oh. you know, it started to slowly make its way in. And now people are really catching on because people see mm -hmm. what drugs do to them. You know, you take a yeah. statin or you take certain medications and you get side effects and then you go back to the yeah. doctor and then you're saying, Hey, I have this symptom. And then the doctor gives you another medication before you know it, you have a whole pharmacy in your bathroom and you know you're not feeling any better no, you know it's true I mean I really yeah it'd be nice if people had options so they didn't have to do all that I mean sometimes of course medication is necessary right you know but there's sometimes a lot of other alternatives or things you can try you know a lot of natural remedies as you know yeah. that and I, I work love and I love the way you're, you're, you know, you're working so hard to bring that awareness to people. I think that's, that's absolutely wonderful because well, you, you too, know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know, cause I, I think people, you know, they hear about it, but they don't know where to go and they don't, right. you know, they don't really know a lot about it. So by mm -hmm. learning more, you know, things in depth, you know, they have a better understanding and then even trying to make them understand where they can go to find these things is even right. more beneficial too, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I really, I'm hoping that I can do more of that and just bring it um, to a national level really with the TV show and things. So Right. A few things in the works. So fingers crossed on that. Yeah. But, you know, it's all to reach more people and let them know. Well, I think, you know, for, for years, like the last 10 years, they've been a lot of talk shows on TV, even yeah. in the mainstreams, you know, talking about, you know, different natural remedies and roots and, and different things to do besides just taking medication. And Absolutely. it's been very successful. People are very interested in knowing, learn how to heal the body, you know. Right. And it's definitely it, growing more and more. So definitely growing. Keep going, you know. And you say you do fairs and you do like all different types of events, you know, throughout the year. Yeah. I mean, we're getting back to that now a little bit. So, um, yeah, I mean, I really can do any kind of event, but of course we focus on wellness events. Right. I think it, you know, it, it, with COVID, it was very hard because it, it struck everybody. Everybody had yes. to kind of, you know, shut down their events and, you know, it was, it was hard, but now that things are starting to get a little better and yeah. it, more under control, you're starting to see that events are starting to come out and then you could actually start, you know, showing in person. Yeah. Yeah. Doing your things again. And yeah. I think that that's well, great. It's not my event, but I'll be with you, you know, um, the health fair that you're going to be a part of at I am fitness in Middletown. So yeah, that's a good start. We're going to bring some practitioners together again. They'll be doing little demos and then we have you talking about mm -hmm. empowerment. I'll be talking about empowerment, how to oh, really put power within you. Yeah. yeah. And then you'll have your books available. So, um, you know, that's a start. We're, we're starting out small <laughs> right back into the events, but yes. Yeah, I think it's, it's it was hard because COVID really hit everybody very hard. So, yes. you know, by, by going slowly and building everything back up. But, you know, I think there is definitely a need in, on television and there is a need to go more nationwide and to show people hands on, yes. you know, to show, how, you know, have all these different practitioners and all these different experts and coaches and authors come out and say, you know, this is what it could do and, and explain to people, educate people, because it's all about, you know, you fear what you don't know. And by- right educating people you're giving them a better understanding and you're helping them to decrease that fear so they they so. you know they actually are interested in possibly you know going a little bit deeper into it and maybe trying it themselves right I hope so that's what we're trying to do so if we can help with that absolutely and I mean I even have a directory of practitioners on my website where you can check out you know the different you know, there's people there that if you don't know where to go, you can always email me. You can always call me. I'm always happy. I'm always happy also to match um, people with a, the perfect practitioner for them or, or as close to perfect as I can get. Now, uh, where's your uh, website located? It's uh, wellness, wellnessgala.com. Now, how do you spell gala? Can you spell it out? Like some people know? <laughs> wellness and then mm -hmm. gala, G-A-L-A. -A okay. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. And what yeah. can they find on your website? Well, everything that we do, all the events. Again, we have a directory of practitioners. You could check out the TV show if you want to watch that. It's also on YouTube. So, um, you know, you can 
watch it either place. Basically everything that we do is on there. So. And you also said that you, um, you do like, I think weekly television shows. Yes. On yes. Your- it's on every Saturday morning, 10 30 to 11. It's news 12 plus in the tri-state area. So optimum it's channel 61 and Fios it's five 30. Oh, good. You can stream it. And also, again, you know, watch it on YouTube <laughs> or the website, whatever. Right. Like just within a couple hours after it being on in the morning. So. Oh, that's awesome. And are yeah. all your social platforms listed on your website? Yes, everything's there. Yeah. Everything's oh. Wellness Gala. So. All right. Wonderful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so if you had to give some tips as people about, you know, maybe people who are a little cynical and they're a little afraid to go into the, try, you know, more yes. natural healing, what would you suggest to them? Because you have an amazing story of how your son was able to get healed from a terrible, you know, disorder. Yes. So yes. what kind um, of tips do you have for somebody who, who's well, a little cynical? Let me just say this. I, unfortunately, a lot of people turn to this when they're absolutely desperate, as I did. Because right. I, well, also, I didn't know about it. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, especially as a parent for your child, you know, you'll kind of do anything. My yeah. feeling was, I don't really care. I will, fi- I want to just find something that might help. It's worth a shot. That right. was my mentality of it. Yeah. So I feel like if you're suffering from something and, you know, I, I would like people to be preventative, use it as preventative medicine, but, uh, you know, if they're in a desperate situation or they've been to, you know, I get a lot of calls from people that have gone to many different doctors and just say they have some sp- stomach thing yeah and and nobody can figure it out and they have all these tests and blood tests and this and that and it's weird to me that they can't figure it out and they don't know what else to do so I'll get a lot of calls like at that stage when they don't and um you know I would just say if you have any kind of thing like try to learn you know educate yourself or reach out to us you know um yeah and try something else with the medical things that maybe you're doing. Yeah. Right. Does that answer that? For you yeah, or? no, it definitely does. Yeah. You know, I think some, you know, a lot of things are always, there's a root cause for everything and yeah. it's trying to find that root cause. And sometimes primary doctors don't look deep enough and they don't yeah. go into the root cause. They're just looking at the current symptoms, the now. Yes, They're not looking at the person as a whole. And that's kind of the problem. Yeah. You know, you really, you can't just, well, whatever. They're just, you know, you got a problem with your arm. They're looking at your arm, but no, maybe that's connected to something, you know, exactly. Bad example, but you, you, know, you get the point where, I, yeah, definitely. There's lots of information out there. You just have to, you know, Google some things or ask some people and, you know, yeah. like I said, anybody that wants to call me, that's perfectly fine. I'm always happy to help if people need a recommendation. And can they find all your contact information on your website as well? They can. Yes. So, all right. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. I like doing that. That's actually a good, um, yeah. I mean, personally, one of the things I personally do in my company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the, one of the most rewarding feelings is actually being able to help another individual. I think that, you know, makes it all worthwhile. If you could help one person, then I think that's it. (laughs) Yeah. It's so funny. Cause I always say that exactly what you just said. Yes. Because I mean, even when I have my events, if one or two people walk up to me and say, oh my gosh, thank you for doing this. I had no idea this stuff existed. Yeah, It always happens at every event and it makes my day or night because I go, okay, even if I just help those one or two people, you know, that's amazing. It's amazing, you know, to help one or two people. It's, it's, it's right. truly amazing. It really is. Absolutely. And hopefully there's a lot more. They just don't come and tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Well, now, hopefully after they see this video, they will reach out to you and they will, you know, absolutely. I welcome it. Yes. Whatever we can do, we're here, you know, and if I don't know the answer, I'll find somebody who does. That's amazing. Thank you. You know, it's been great having you on the show. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're very welcome. And, you know, I will definitely be keeping in touch with you. I can't wait to see you at the fair, you know, November 13th. Yeah. November 13th, I am fitness in Middletown, New Jersey. Yeah, so I'm very excited about that. And I can't wait to see you. And thank you so much for taking the time out to explain your story and to tell people, you know, what you've been doing to help people who are really, you know, suffering from something and they just want to improve, you know, how they feel because it's really hard to get to the life when you don't feel 100%, you know? Yes, absolutely. Well, thank you so much for having me. It's a lot of fun. And um, you're welcome. Yeah, you know, thank you so much. And you have a great day.
You too, Stacey. Take care. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.